Hello Internet, I'm Matt Haas and this is Awesome Wood Things. I made this piece of artwork showing an emoji robot. This was featured on my favorite show, which is, not surprisingly, Doctor Who. If you were anything other than happy in the presence of this robot, the computer screen would change from this emoji face to this one, the skull face, and then in about three seconds it would kill you. <laughs> I recently made this Doctor Who alien, which looks terrifying, but it's one of the most gentlest creatures in the universe. That's what I love about this show. <laughs> There's probably a life lesson to be learned there. Don't judge things by the way they look. <laughs> this uh, painted the background and poplar frame, used the vinyl cutter for the image, and I constructed this holder, which I think I'll hang separately and all of the pieces fall into place on the holder because they're sculpted out to have them fit perfectly. And they all have magnets on the back and they snap perfectly into place. So you can swap them out to reflect however it is you're feeling. This was part of Shogun Jimmy's Skull Challenge 2017. Thanks for hosting this, Jimmy. And thank you, Eloy Escajedo, for the background music, which will play later. Want to see how I made it? Stick around. I used an almost empty bottle of spray paint on MDF. Oh, and Eloy Escajedo's rock and roll audio clip will play after this cool robot music. Acrylic paint and a sponge are used to add the dust clouds. Be sure to leave some of the black background showing through as well. A toothbrush adds the star pattern. I use the tip of this razor to add larger stars. For the frame, I rip down a piece of poplar. I cut a rabbit with two additional passes on the table saw. I chamfer the edges on the router table. I use my frame jig to cut the miters. Like I always do, wood glue holds the frame together and painter's tape is used as the clamps. It hasn't failed me yet. The ovals for the emoji faces get some spray adhesive before I put them on the yellow acrylic plastic. The bandsaw is used to just get close to the line. I clean that up on this disc sander. I apply the vinyl to the acrylic oval. This 
this will be used to hold all of the emoji pieces. This wood is just a little bit thicker than the actual yellow acrylic. This solid piece of poplar will be used to hold those thin plywood strips. I think that's a lot nicer looking, so I take several passes on the table saw to get a nice deep dado. a marker to make the exposed surfaces black and these will fit in just tension fit. Everything gets spray painted black a Forstner bits used to create an area for a large magnet and this vinyl of the robot it didn't stick to the paint very well so I knew I was just going to fix that later. Two-part epoxy is used to hold the big magnet in. And you won't see this, so it can look a little ugly. I just flattened it out. The robot vinyl is going on again, this time over glass. There's glass over top of the star field. This small magnet will be attached to the emoji with plastic epoxy and this technique lines it up perfectly. 